Good day everyone! I'm Ma'am Ning Mendoza of Novaliches High School. I will be your teacher facilitator for this lesson. Our topic for today is uses and function of kitchen tools and equipment. Our learning competency is Utilize appropriate kitchen tools, equipment, and paraphernalia. At the end of the lesson, the learners are expected to Number 1. Identify the different kitchen tools and equipment. Number 2. Use the appropriate kitchen tools and equipment. And number 3. Appreciate the importance of knowing the proper use of different kitchen tools and equipment. Being familiar with the appropriate use of kitchen tools and equipment in the kitchen is important for every cook for their proper and efficient food preparation, cooking, and serving. Each kitchen tools and equipment has been designed to accomplish a specific job in the kitchen. We have four different types of kitchen tools. We have the measuring tools, cutting tools, serving tools, and preparation tools. Measuring tools are among the most important items found in any kitchen. Since consistently, good cooking depends upon accurate measurements. Measuring tools should be standardized. Scales are used to measure the weight of materials of bigger volumes. These are delicate and precision instruments that must be handled carefully and are more dependable in terms of accuracy. Measuring cup for dry ingredients is used to measure solids and dry ingredients such as flour, fat, and sugar. It is commonly made of aluminum or stainless material. Sizes range from 1, 1 half, 1 third, and 1 fourth nested cups to one gallon. There are cups made of plastic and come in different colors, but could only be used for cold ingredients. They could warp, causing inaccurate measure. Why is it not advisable to use a measuring cup for dry ingredients when measuring hot ingredients? Yes, that's right, because the plastic measuring cup might get warped or will deform its shape because of hotness or dampness. Measuring cup for liquid ingredients is commonly made up of heat-proof glass and transparent so that liquid can be seen. Quantity of measure of liquid ingredient is different in a dry measuring cup. A measuring cup for liquid ingredients looks like a pitcher made of glass. That is why we can measure hot or cold ingredients as long as it is in liquid form. Measuring spoons come in variety of sizes shapes, materials, and colors. These are used to measure smaller quantities of ingredients called for in the recipe like 1 tablespoon of butter or 1 fourth teaspoon of salt. Measuring spoons are only used when you need to measure ingredients either cold or hot that is should be in small quantity and cannot be measured by using measuring cups. The household scales are used to weigh large quantity of ingredients in kilos, commonly in rice, flour, sugar, legumes or vegetables, and meat up to 25 pounds. While the portion scales are used to weigh serving portions from 1 ounce to 1 pound. The scoops or dippers are used to measure serving of soft foods such as fillings, ice cream, and mashed potato. Temperature scales are used to measure heat intensity. Different thermometers are used for different purposes in food preparation, for meat, candy, or deep fat frying. Other small thermometers are hanged or stand in ovens or refrigerators to check the accuracy of the equipment's thermostat. Cutting tools if you spend a lot of time in the kitchen, you know how important it is to have a culinary cutting tools 
that is perfect for any type of kitchen task you want to tackle. Slicing and dicing is an important part of meal preparation and should not be taken lightly. Make sure your kitchen is properly equipped with cutting tools that make cooking such a joyful experience. We have different kinds of cutting tools. The first one is the kitchen shears. These are practical for opening food packages, cutting tape, or string to package foods or simply to remove labels or tags from items. Other cutting tools such as box cutters are just as handy, especially for opening packages. Kitchen knives, often referred to as cooks or chefs tools, knives are a must for all types of kitchen tasks from peeling an onion and slicing carrots to carving a roast or turkey. We have different kinds of kitchen knives. The first one is the butcher knife. It is used to section raw meat, poultry, and fish. It can be used as a cleaver to separate small joints or to cut bones. Butcher knives are made with heavy blade with a sour or flat rim. French knife is used to chop, dice, or mince food. Heavy knives have a saber or flat green. Roast beef slicer is used to slice roasts, ham, and thick solid cuts of meats. Boning knife is used to fillet fish and to remove raw meat from the bone. Fruit and salad knife is used to prepare salad greens, vegetables, and fruits. Citrus knife is used to section citrus fruits. The blade has a two-sided serrated edge. Paring knife is used to core, peel, and section fruits and vegetables. Blades are short, concave with hollow ground. Serving tools. Serving utensils come in a variety of configurations to scoop, grasp, spread, strain, and transfer food from plates, trays, platters, and bowls. Soup ladle is used for serving soup or stews, but can also be used for gravy, dessert sauces, or other foods. A soup ladle also works well to remove or skim off fat from soups and stews. Pasta spoon or server is used to transfer a little or much cooked pasta to a waiting plate without a mess. Pasta spoons are best used for spaghetti style or other long pasta noodles. You can use a large slotted serving spoon for short pastas. Seafood serving tool makes the task of cleaning seafood and removing the shell much easier. For cooking seafood, utensils will vary depending on what you are cooking. Serving spoon is a utensil consisting of a small, shallow bowl on a handle used in preparing, serving, or eating food. Serving tongs enables you to more easily grab and transfer larger food items, poultry, or meat portions to a serving platter, to a hot skillet, or deep fryer, or to a plate. It gives you a better grip, and the longer the tongs, the better especially when used with a deep fryer, a large stock pot, or at the barbecue. Slotted spoon is similar in function to a sieve. However, a ladle-sized slotted spoon is most typically used to retrieve items from a cooking liquid while preserving the liquid in the pot, while table-sized slotted spoon are often used to serve foods prepared or packaged in juices such as canned goods and vegetables. Perforated spoon are meant to drain liquids such as oils while retaining the residue for further processing. It is also used to drain liquids 
from the meal before serving to a plate. Flipper or slotted turner is used for turning hamburgers and other food items. Handy poultry and roasting tool is a convenient tool for lifting hot roasted poultry from the roaster to the platter. Preparation Tools These are the tools used in preparing foods aside from cutting ingredients. A can opener is used to open a food tin, preferably with a smooth operation and comfortable grip and turning knob, while a bottle opener is used to open a bottle with a cup or cork. A strainer is used to strain or sift dry ingredients. Cutting board is a wooden or plastic board where meats and vegetables can be cut. It is used to protect countertops while cutting and chopping food. Colanders, also called as vegetable strainer, are essential for various tasks from cleaning vegetables to straining pasta or tin contents. Funnels are used to fill jars made of various sizes of stainless steel, aluminum, or of plastic. Potato masher is used for mashing cooked potatoes, turnips, carrots, or other soft-cooked vegetables. Garlic presser is a kitchen tool which is specifically designed for the purpose of pulping garlic for cooking. Graters are used to grate, shred, slice, and separate foods such as carrots, cabbage, and cheese. Vegetable peeler is used to scrape vegetables such as carrots and potatoes and to peel fruits. The best ones are made of stainless steel with sharp double blade that swivels. A scraper is a rubber or silicone tools to blend or scrape the food from the bowl. Metal silicone or plastic egg turners or flippers. Spatula is used to level off ingredients when measuring and to spread frostings and sandwich fillings. Spoons are solid, slotted, or perforated, which are made of stainless steel or plastic. It is used to spoon liquids over foods and to lift foods. Fork is a utensil made of metal whose long handle terminates in a head that branches into several narrow and often slightly curved tines with which one can spear foods, either to hold them to cut with a knife or to lift them to the mouth. Plate is a broad, concave but mainly flat vessel on which food can be served. Where whisk is used for whipping eggs or butter, and for blending gravies, sauces, and soups. The beaters are made of loop steel piano wires which are twisted together to form the handle. Wooden spoons can be slotted or perforated used for preparing or cooking. To avoid scratching the teflon coated pots or pans, this is best recommended to be used. Rotary egg beater is made of stainless steel with a gear driven for ease in rotating to be able to beat eggs or mix pourable ingredients in baking. Dredger is used to shake flour, salt, and pepper on meat, poultry, and fish. Two tine fork is used to hold meats while slicing and to turn solid pieces of meat while browning or cooking, made of stainless steel and with heat-proof handle. Emery boards or sharpening steel is used to sharpen any metal tool with sharp edges like knives and the like. Buster is used for returning some of the meat or poultry juices from the pan back to the food. 
It is also convenient to use for buttering the tops of breads and baked goods after they came out of the oven. Equipment Equipment is a more complicated tool because they are mostly run or powered by electricity. They may refer to a small electrical appliance such as a mixer or a large expensive power-operated appliance such as a range or a refrigerator. Equipment like refrigerators, range, ovens, either conventional, convection, or microwave are mandatory pieces in the kitchen or in any food establishment. Technical know-how is important when using this to avoid any form of accidents. While the auxiliary equipment like griddles, tilting skillets, broilers or grills, steamers, coffee maker, deep fat fryers, wok, crockery, cutting equipment like meat slicer, food choppers and grinders, mixers and bowls, pots and pans are utilized most commonly in big food establishments, some with specialized uses and some are optional. We have different examples of equipment. The first one is the refrigerators or freezers. These are necessary in preventing bacterial infections from foods. Most refrigerators have special compartment for meat, fruits, and vegetables to keep the moisture content of each type of food. Butter compartment holds butter separately to prevent food odors from spoiling its flavor. Basically, refrigerator or freezer is an insulated box equipped with refrigeration unit and a control to maintain the proper inside temperature for food storage. Microwave and Convection Oven Microwaves are designed as food warmer, while convection ovens or popularly known as turbo are best suited for broiling poultry or meat which can be served during special occasion. Range or Stove An oven is a chamber for cooking without external burners. A stove is a cooking appliance without an oven, and a range is typically a combination of both. They can be either by gas or electric. Oven is a chamber or compartment used for cooking, baking, heating, or drying. Portable hand mixer is an electric handled mixing and blending tool that has two removable metal beaters and variable speeds. It is an essential and versatile addition to any kitchen, even if you don't cook or bake a lot because it is used for mixing, blending, whipping, and beating a variety of foods. Blenders are used to chop, blend, mix, whip, puree, grate, and liquefy all kinds of food. A blender is a very useful appliance. They vary in the amount of power, either voltage or wattage. Others vary and do not do the same jobs. Rice cooker or rice steamer is an automated kitchen appliance designed to boil or steam rice. It consists of a heat source, a cooking bowl, and a thermostat. The thermostat measures the temperature of the cooking bowl and controls the heat. Examples of Auxiliary Equipment Pressure cooker is an airtight cooking device that cooks food quickly thanks to the steam pressure that builds up inside. While the wok is used in a range of Chinese cooking techniques including stir-frying, steaming, pan-frying, deep-frying, poaching, boiling, braising, searing, stewing, making soup, smoking, and roasting nuts. Frying pan or skillet is a flat-bottom pan used for frying, searing, and browning foods. 
It is typically 20 to 30 centimeters or 8 to 12 inches in diameter with relatively low sides that flare outwards, a long handle, and no lid. Kettle is a metal vessel with a flat bottom used to heat water on a stove top or hub. They usually have a handle on top, a spout, and a lid. Some also have a steam whistle that indicates when the water has reached boiling point. Double boiler is used when temperature must be kept below boiling such as for egg sauces, puddings, and to keep food warm without overcooking. These are the other examples of auxiliary equipment. The coffee maker, deep fryer, steamer, griddle, food chopper, mixer, food processor, meat slicer, meat grinder, tilting skillet, and the griller. For our generalization, any cook should be familiar with the correct utensils, devices, and equipment in the kitchen. It is important to consider several things and not only the price when buying them. The job of cooking requires specific tools, utensils, and equipment for proper and efficient preparation of food. Each piece has been designed to accomplish a specific job in the kitchen. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and happy learning. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for your video lessons in TLE. Just search for Mamning Mendoza. Thank you!